Hey guys, welcome to another lunch home review. Today I'm going to try this Boston Market Home Style Meals. This is the Salisbury Steak. It's savory gravy with mac and cheese. It looks really, really good. I bought these at Walmart for $2.08, which is really cheap if you ask me for the amount of food you get. 24 grams of protein, that's cool. Um, the directions and all that stuff are always on the sides because they show pictures on both sides. It's kind of weird. Um, anyway, they can package, they can display it anywhere they want to, I guess. 510 calories for the for the whole box, so um, not horrible. I mean, it's it's not as high as some of them I've had. Sodium is ridiculous. It's over half of your recommended daily sodium in one box. It's also 60% of your daily saturated fat. So um, so just keep that in mind if you're trying to eat healthy. This is probably not a meal for you. Okay. So you can do the regular oven if you want to. Of course, we don't do ovens, but you can if you want to. Those are directions. Um, so the microwave, we're going to peel back the film to vent. Cook on high for five minutes, stir, recover, and then cook again for two and a half to three minutes. Pretty straightforward. Five, stir, two and a half. Okay, quite a bit of macaroni and cheese there. I like the little, um, the rotoni. I don't know, whatever, whatever the squiggly noodles are, I like those. And it looks like you get, um, I think there's two in there. Can't really tell. So anyway, I'm gonna peel the corner back to zip it, just like that, and get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. There is two pieces of steak here, one underneath there. And the macaroni looks pretty good. It smells really good, the whole thing smells good. So, I am going to let this cool off because it's been in the microwave for, what, seven and a half minutes or so? So I'm gonna let this cool off and uh, so I don't kill myself, and I'll be back. Okay, it's time to cool off, so I'm going to take a bite of the Salisbury steak first just because I had gravy all over my fork, honestly. So, here we go. Good texture. The meat's, um, it's not grainy or gritty, which is a good thing. Sometimes the processed patties are. Um, the gravy has a really good flavor. The, it's got a good brown gravy sauce. I mean, it's really, really good gravy. Um, even has a little bit of an onion flavor to it, so that's good. I like that a lot. That's really good. It, it reminds you of uh, it reminds you of a hamburger patty a little bit, except that the meat's ground a little finer and um, it's pressed together a little tighter. But that's uh, that sounds very steak's actually really good. And I'm sure that gravy is where a lot of your sodium is that that's in this meal. Enough for the macaroni and cheese. I like the little curly macaroni. It tends to capture a lot more of the cheese than than just regular elbow macaroni. That's good. It's not super strong and cheesy. I was expecting it to be a lot cheesier than it is. I mean, the cheese is there, but it's not nearly... I mean, if you look at it, it is orange and thick, and um, cheese is all over everything. You know, it's almost like uh, melted Velveeta on it, right? So it looks like that. When you actually eat it, Box Kraft macaroni and cheese has more cheese flavor than that, which is sad, but it's true. Uh, of course, this could be real cheese, and maybe it's just not that strong. Whatever the case is, it's not a really strong cheesy flavor. It's kind of disappointing. I was hoping I'd almost I'm, I'd almost rather have Velveeta than this really low flavor cheese. No, so macaroni and cheese kind of disappointing. Doesn't have a lot. Of, I mean, it has flavor. It's just not. A great cheese flavor. Um, the Salisbury steak though is really really good. So I'm gonna give this, I would have given it a five if that macaroni and cheese had been good and cheesy. Um, since it's not, I'm gonna knock it a little bit. I'm gonna say it's a four. Um, even though you may absolutely love this macaroni and cheese, for me it's just it's just lacking a cheese flavor. Um, but it's good. It's a good meal. Definitely worth trying out. If you get Boston Market in your area, especially if you can get it on sale for 208, uh, that's a really good deal. Lots of food here. Two huge pieces of Salisbury steak. Uh, quite a bit of macaroni and cheese, too. So if you eat all this, you'll be pretty full. Um, yeah, but just because of the flavor, I think I'm definitely going to give it a four. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.